Oh no, time for another beer review. Um, we're going to do one from Aldi. I'm just going to show you a little haul that I got from Aldi first and explain. So, you've just seen I've done pretty much all of the new Tesco beers um, recently. Around the same time that Tesco's have released their beers, Aldi's dropped another four in their supermarket from the Hot Foundry series. So, which is like the beers that I made for Aldi. So, I just thought I'd show you the four. They've, they've kind of got a few interesting um, flavours about the majority of them, so I thought I'd, I'd get them. Um, so I'm doing a few beers, um, regular beers that aren't from the supermarket, and then I'll do a few of these over and I'll mix it up a little bit just so that you don't get sick. So the first one, uh, the one that I'm doing today is We're Jamming, which is a strawberry lager coming in at 4.5%, which I thought sounded a bit different. They also have Sharp Tongue, which is a grapefruit pale ale, 4%. They have Stout About It, a vanilla stout coming in at 5.2%. And they also have one called Twice As Nice, which is a double IPA coming in at 6.6%. .6%. So I'll get them all done. I'll get them all up on the channel. Um, I'm putting this one out on Thursday. So I'll get them all done. Uh, I'll do my Friday challenge and we'll have Saturday, Sunday, Monday and they're done. So when you're seeing this, there's been a, a couple of days break from um, supermarket beers. I've done three days worth of regular beers. So this is the one which grabbed us the most, strawberry lager. Um, just sounds a bit different for the lager. There is absolutely no ingredients on the can whatsoever and it's made for Aldi. Um, it doesn't tell you who brewed it as usual. So... Um, Let's get this out and see what we get. Um, I was kind of expecting it to be pink, so um, and I mean it, it it's got a golden a golden orange colour. It looks like Lucas Aid in the glass to me. Uh, yeah, there's a steady carbonation going up to a, a formula aid. Yeah, it's got that colour of Lucas Aid. And it, it's it's got decent levels of clarity. Let's get the nose. I'm getting like a bread biscuit. There is a sim. It smells like there's a fruit in there. But if you'd said to me it was strawberry, I couldn't commit to it. There's something in there, but I don't know what it is. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. No, um, I'm not getting the strawberry at all. Um, it's very metallic, and there is there's this syrupy there's a syrupy flavour about it. There's, if it's a strawberry, it's hidden behind the the metallic notes that's in it. Sadly, um, and I ain't getting it. got this tang on the finish the strawberry is slightly coming out in the aftertaste but it's like a synthetic syrupy strawberry um, but it's really really metallic the body's decent on it um, the body's not too bad um, I think they've done okay there but the flavor wise it's got a, a lot to be desired um, I'm not very impressed with it to be honest yes it's one that's all all these four cans that I bought were one fifty nine each. So, um, especially with the double IPA, you know, one fifty nine for a four forty. You know, you can't complain too much. But for me, there is better beer that is cheaper in um, home bargains and B and M. So I would much rather have, say, I don't know. I would probably much rather have the E1 Pilsner if 
was going through a lager, then this, that's in whole bangers, I'd much rather have a round bracket, even if they have doctored the recipe or they're getting rid of it, um, then, um, then this, in Aldi, I'd much rather have the Williams Brothers Leon, um, or the Push Pineapple, if that's still in, um, I just, I think there's better beers in Aldi, um, it's a pretty poor beer, to be honest, um, I won't be recommending it, and I won't be, I certainly won't be drinking it again, um, it's going to be a challenge to finish it, to be honest. As I've had a couple of sips, that thankfully a lot of metallic notes have gone, but it's just been replaced with a syrupy synthetic strawberry that isn't very pleasant. So um, that's the first one in with jamming. Um, it ain't a good one, sadly. Um, but I'll add. Um, I'll add it to my Aldi playlist where you can see some other beers that I've done from Aldi. Um, hopefully the other three are uh, a little bit better. So, uh, thanks for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.